This is Ali Nassay. I'm sitting here in the Acela train heading out to the Greater New York Dental Meeting. And the question that I come up I wanted to discuss with you, and that was the question of how can we find out if a patient is numb prior to starting the case? And I thought that was really great. So let's quickly answer that question. One of the ways that you can find out, obviously, is to start the pulpotomy and the, the patient feels pain, you know that they're not numb, of course. That is probably the worst way to find out because you've already lost the patient's confidence. Now, in my practice here in Boston, I do almost guarantee a painless uh, procedure to the patients, and that really comes as a result of doing only a single thing, and it is to test the tooth prior to putting a burr on the tooth. You never want to find out if the patient is adequately numb by actually drilling into the tube. You don't want the patient's feedback that way. However, you do a test that is very important prior to making a diagnosis for the tooth that you're working on, and that's your pulp vitality tests. The pulp vitality tests that include your EPT as well as your cold test are two tests that are very helpful to find out the status of the pulp and are obviously required, at least one of them is required, to do in order to make a proper diagnosis. Therefore, it is very important not to rely on the patient's feedback in terms of asking the patient, are you numb? And then asking them if their lips feel numb or their tongue feel numb. None of those things matter because the thing that you're trying to achieve clinically is pulpal anesthesia and that is something that your patient is unable to tell you. So even if the lip is numb, the tongue is numb, all the tissues are numb, the pulp may still not be numb. And in those cases, what you need to do is you need to redo your pulp vitality tests. And that is basically how you're gonna find out if the patient is numb. So how do we do that? You could use your EPT, or easier than that even is to just use your cold test. So after you've given enough time to your um, block, or infiltration or whatever type of anesthesia you're using, then proceed to put some endo ice on a cold compeller on a Q-tip and place it directly on the tooth. And then look at the patient's feedback and what you're looking for is a patient who's not even aware that you are doing what you're doing. If the patient gives you a feedback goes, well, I kind of feel that, that tooth is still not numb. What you need to do is to go into the accessory um, anesthetic techniques and we'll talk about those things in future videos but for the time being just keep this very simple little tip in mind that the best way to find out if a patient's properly numb is not by asking them uh, nor is it by putting a burr on the tooth but actually by duplicating the pulp vitality tests that you did which include probably the easiest way would be to do the cold test and this has been shown to be uh, accurate enough to give you a proper indication of the status of pulp anesthesia in a tube. Anyway, I hope this little quick tip was helpful to you.